All right, so before we get into this uh, video, um, I just want to state that the main context that I want people to look at is the comments that I'm going to highlight and to show you how problematic um, a lot of these things are, especially um, given the context of the conversation that you are able to hear and how it is that people will throw out all of these assumptions and these theories just off of how it is that a man is wearing sunglasses or uh, how it is that he is stating that he is not going to approach and different things of that nature. Like I said, it's it's pretty hilarious how people can say certain things. But then if you have men try to state certain things about women, you know, of course, the double standard <laughs> shows his face. If you see a woman now that you're attracted to, so you're not going to approach her? You think you're too good? Why would you though? say that? So what is it? I don't need to do that. I, brought, I got too much to bring to the table. Mm. And that's facts. You know what I'm saying? You don't get to meet people like me often. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like it's just facts. You know, like the type of car I drive, where, what I do for a living, you know, like my house. Like it's too much that I bring to the table that I don't need to chase no girl. If you like what you see, then holler at me. If you don't, then keep it pushing. And that's just facts. That's interesting. No, that's interesting. Right, so, I, I, I'm, call, I can call see it, call both it what you sides, but it's interesting because, you know, I mean, it's been a while since I've been single, but I've always been the one to approach. Like, not approach like, hey, can I get your number? But you know, you always knew if I was interested, I knew how to just... I was. So, I feel like you may have to do... Because you're, you're single, I'm obviously. Single. So, you're looking for a person, you're looking for your person. So, I feel like you're going to have to do a little bit more work on your end. Because you know... But because you, you know... But you mean, you might like, like, like because, go, uh, go after women? Yeah, because I feel like a lot of women, number one... A lot point, of, point me a, a good woman and I'll do that. One woman stated, some straight men are weak, but not gay. I'm just trying to figure out how do we get to these two instances, right? Just strictly off of this conversation. How did we get into the aspect, j just off of what this, the conversation that this man is having with this woman, how do we get into the box of men being weak? And how do we get into the box of men being gay? That's all I'm trying to figure out. Because again, uh, so many times, conversations are being had and because you have women out here that disagree with what it is that a man is stating they'll automatically try to attack the masculinity of a man by trying to insinuate or state his sexuality or what they feel about his sexuality or if they can't directly go into uh that aspect then they'll try to go into the aspect of well he's you know he's weak and you know he's this he's not you know strong enough and he can't do i'm like this it, it, this only realistically happens to one group of men consistently online which is 100 percent crazy 100 percent crazy um again when i see conversations I, this is not something that I normally happen to see when you have conversations online about other groups of men. The, the, these two boxes are not anywhere in the area, no matter what the conversation is, no matter even if you have a certain type of man that might fit one of the boxes that was spoken upon by this com the comment that we're able to see. They still don't even go that far. They still don't even reach for it. They still call, right, and allow that man to be considered and be a man. This woman said, no offense, but he probably is a whole gay man too, or DL. This is what I'm talking about. But yeah, these will be the exact same individuals who will sit up there and state that, oh, yeah, 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 I got, you know, gay family members. I got gay best friends. I got gay associates and coworkers. I go to pride events. I do this. I support, you know, all of, you know, whoever will people want to sit up there and be. But yet they'll sit up there and use that exact same thing that they're, you know, stating as a positive. They will use it as a negative in order to come at a uh, a black man negatively in order to state that they disagree. They're not going to fully say that, oh, I disagree with what it is they say, and let me just sit up there and break it down. No, they're going to go to the tail end of it, which is, oh, he's gay. Oh, he's on the DL. 
he just needs to come out I'm like wow that's 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 what conversations that's 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 it <laughs> we can't articulate anything anymore everything is just specifically attacks towards uh the masculinity of a man because you disagree with the fact that he said that he doesn't basically approach and as somebody stated before no the guy is just stating this on a podcast that's not representative of how he lives or how he basically moves in real life like i said before people don't know how to differentiate certain things people don't know how to realistically separate certain things a lot of people feel that how people uh present themselves on a podcast that's 100 percent them every single day that they walk through life and it's not podcast out here or at least the ones that are out here are built so that they can have a certain type of energy to attract a certain type of attention so they need people to say certain types of things in order to get that engagement and attention which is going to generate that revenue but like i said before we're living in a day and age in society where people would rather believe what it is that people are you know, in a sense, presenting on a video podcast group format as a 100 percent versus actually knowing, you know, what it is without the cameras, without the lights, without everybody else being around and, you know, all these other types of things. This person said these gay men be more attractive and manly than y'all modern men. I would just wish that a lot of women would just state that they just find gay and bisexual men attractive and that they just actively want to seek them and date them. That would make more sense versus trying to find a way to throw shots at straight men for no reason. Like, like this literally, like this makes no sense. Like what does this have to do with the conversation that is being had? Like what, what does this have to do with anything? You just listed what your preference is, and then you listed what your preference is not. You don't like normal guys, right? You like how the appearance of gay men. Fine, that's cool, whatever. Like I said, the, the, the whole comparison, it, it don't even make sense. It, it it has no bearing on the conversation. It's just literally straight. It's just nothing but attacks, straight attacks towards the masculinity of straight men due to the fact, again, that you got women out here that disagree with the opinion of what it is that a man stated. People can't even just just strictly come out and just say, like, I disagree because of steps one, two, three, four, five. It has to be that, oh, no, um, you're just this way because of this. What? How do we? Ah, man. This person stated multiple kings in society, I'm sorry, in history were gay. Multiple philosophers in history were gay. Sexuality doesn't make of the man manners, make of the man the way you carry yourself. What are we even talking about right now? What this is, I I don't even know if I can even call this a deflection. Where are we even at right now? I, are we in a different state? Are we on a different planet at this moment in time? Again, what does this have to do with what it is that the brother stated? What 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 does anybody out here being a philosopher, a leader, what what does any of that have to? What 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 are we talking about? What are we? People can't even stay on topic. Just just for the sake of the topic, people have to like move it in and in, in, in put it clear cut somewhere else because they don't have the, the mental just to really hold that conversation and to just deal with what it is that is being presented. People just got to throw something in there just to. Oh, man, let's go to the next one. Next one said, so he's embracing his feminine energy. Again, taking a shots at his masculinity. She don't know the man from Adam or anything like that, but yet she's throwing the assumptions out there. And I promise you, if you were to go through her phone, her friends list, whatever it is that she has gay friends and associates and all this other type of stuff, but yet she's, again, using certain wording in order to attack 
a straight man's masculinity because she feels a certain type of way about what it is that he's stating. But I just want to note to people, throughout all of the things that he stated, he did not negatively state something horrendous about women. But yet the women feel so attacked by his comments that they decide that they need to make a rebuttal towards and about his masculinity, that they need to throw assumptions and theories about a man that they don't know anything about. It's a clip from a podcast. You ain't never met this man directly in your life or anything like that. And, you know, the most interesting thing is a lot of these women who directly say this online, if they were to see the same guy like they're by themselves, he's by himself and, and, and they're just out there, they would never come up to him and basically state these exact same things. They would never say these things. They would act completely and totally different when they would just so happen to see this guy. And that's the crazy part. And this is why I sat up there and said the way that people are online and the people, the way that people are on podcasts is not the exact same way that they are in real life. That that does not encompass their their whole person. But, you know, people don't want to pay attention. The next one said, just say you're scared of rejection for who you are, your manhood or your intelligence. So you rather be measured by your bank account. Gravity of greed and low vibrational women is what he can handle. Now, it's funny to make an assumption that the only thing that he can deal with is a woman who has low energy right? A woman who, in a sense, is on a low level of thinking. That's that's a quite an assumption because I don't know if this man has gone through, you know, college or I don't know anything else, you know, of his mental. I just know specifically of, you know, that conversation. He stated the way in which he moves, right? He, he stated somewhat sort of a, a, a preference, right? And just by that, this whole piece by her inserted so many things, right? Because she's automatically stating that, oh, he's talking like this because, you know, he he, he might be, you know, less, you know, in certain areas. He, he may be less also in, you know, his mental capacity. So, You know, he's only going to deal with a certain amount of women. And in order to get, you know, those certain women that he can only seem to attract, he's going to use money and jewelry and these different things in order to get those women, because that's all he can actually pull because he lacks in every other area. These are the same conversations that women like to sit up there and state all the time. All the time. You can look online and you can always see these exact same things women will state. And again, none of the women that always speak know the man. And nine times out of 10, a lot of these women aren't even attracted to the guy at all. But yet they decide that they want to sit up there and do this whole thing. A lot of these women that are leaving comments more than likely would never even write try to give what they call choosing signals and all these other types of things and and, and put them directly in that guy's direction. But yet they want to sit up here and have some type of, of an opinion as if what he stated directly offended them. And he was saying something, you know, specifically about them, which is crazy. Again, he didn't state nothing horrendous about women or anything like that. He said that, yo, um, I pretty much just mind my business, but if a woman finds me attractive, then, you know, let me know. It's like, you know, that's that's how we're going to sit up there, um, you know, and work it, right? But, uh, you know, I guess that's the most horrible thing that he said about, I guess that's a derogatory thing that he stated, I guess. Here comes a new challenger. And the next one, listen, I'm a whole gay man. I got my ish together and I approach. The mindset that this man has is very prima donna. Like, bruh, if anything, have all of those attitudes should make you want to step to a woman harder because then you'll be able to weed through the BS. He sounds like he's been hurt and 
it shows. This is what I want people to understand. And, and this is with uh, all due respect. <clears throat> if you are a man that is interested in other men and no way in the world can you have any bearing on a conversation or an opinion uh, when it deals in between men and women, because we're, we're not even playing the same game. We're not even on the same field at this moment in time. So it don't matter <clears throat> how it is that you feel about the situation. Again, this is a man talking specifically to women and how it is that he goes about his dating life with dealing with women. You are clearly dealing with the exact same sex. Again, two different fields. Not sure why it is that you felt the need that you needed to throw your two cents directly in here that doesn't match up with anything. You're, you're throwing in different currency from a whole nother country in with American money. You think that people are about to accept it. But again, a lot of the people that are down there in the comment section allowed it to be. They allowed it to be. Didn't sit up there and, and check the person. Didn't sit up there and state that, hey, you need to back up off of this one because this has nothing to do with you. Because if this was a clear cut reverse and a straight man was like, yo, <laughs> you know, as a straight man, <laughs> you know, I got all my stuff together. Um, you know, I sit up there and approach and I do this and I do that. What bearing does that have on a gay relationship? It doesn't. It doesn't. You're, you're dealing with two different dynamics, two different dynamics. Like it, th like this is come on, and then you got this one too deciding that oh he wanted to sit up there and throw a, a slight little shot at his masculinity. He was like, "Yo, uh, this is very pre Madonna." <sighs> so we all see what's happening here, right? We 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 all see how two groups are literally trying to attack the masculinity of a man. Just we're, we're, we're I'm just just making sure that we're all able to see this here. Right. Which is crazy. And then on top, you know, the funniest part about this is that this dude listing that he is a gay man has not had to deal with the issues that straight men have had to deal with because straight men have been told that, yo, stop approaching us women. Uh, you guys are cringe. You guys are too thirsty. You guys are this. You guys don't really have nothing to offer. You guys are too broke. You guys are too dusty. You guys don't got this. You guys don't got that. Only approach me if you got X, Y, Z and all this other. We've been given literally a whole nother. We've been attacked for approaching. We've been attacked for not approaching. We've been attacked for taking our time. And you want to come up here and state that you're a gay man and that you go out here and you you really sit up there and make the first move that's great that's great and i'm pretty sure amongst your friends you have other men out there that don't make the first approach <laughs> so <laughs> let's let's not sit up here and try to play these games here but you know like i said people want to throw themselves directly out here but they don't want to give the full scope <laughs> of how it is uh, you know, that things transpire. And then you want to speak on the fact of like, well, you know, if you push harder and you go, you know, directly after what you want, you'll be able to weed through the BS. Nah, like I said before, you're you're playing a whole different game. Because if 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 you were like the man who is a part of the conversation, um, you would know that you have a lot of women out here who are great liars. And you've seen a lot of divorces take place. Even when you have men out here who have done the necessary work who have sat up there and done all of the research and everything like that, they've still been tricked and they've still been robbed. So again, this is why people who don't know anything about uh, the situation need to stay directly out the kitchen. And you need to just mind your business because nobody asked you anything. Nobody asked you for your opinion. Nobody asked you to insert your sexuality into this conversation in between a heterosexual male and a heterosexual female. It had nothing to do with you. Nothing. But like I said, you got too many people out here that don't have enough business, so they want to be in somebody else's. That's crazy. Thousand percent crazy. But, you know, it is what it is. But anyways, let me know what y'all think about this video and everything that I listen in the comment description below. And as always, peace, love, and stay tuned for the next video.